I don't want to dance around this today, so let me just put it out there and see what you think. There is a deep abiding anti-intellectualism that regards thinking as an act of unbelief. Some well-meaning and well-intentioned believers have smuggled in the notion that because critical thinking, emphasis on critical, was the spear tip of liberalism's attack on Christian orthodoxy, they're determined never to be caught doing it. It is as though Paul said, we walk by faith, not by thought, rather than we walk by faith, not by sight. Blind faith has been interpreted to mean dumb faith. Faith doesn't ask questions, I was taught. Faith doesn't think, it just believes. Never mind that it was Jesus who commanded us to love the Lord our God with all of our minds and not just our hearts. I've struggled with this my whole life, feeling guilty, even faithless, when I asked questions or thought deeply about my faith in Christ came to a crisis in college when my adolescent, largely emotional faith was challenged by professors who insisted that I think about my faith. As I matured as a person and as a Christian, I found that the feelings by which I had first come to know Christ were now competing with thoughts also trying to find their way to Christ. At first, I mistook them for enemies. Then an English professor gently corrected me and helped me to make peace between my head and heart. She said, Wayne, I'm a Christian for two reasons, because it makes sense and feels right. Now, I wouldn't be a Christian if it just felt right but didn't make sense. And I wouldn't be a Christian if it just made sense and didn't feel right. In my Christian faith, my head and my heart have become friends. That conversation was grace to me. For the first time in my life, I no longer regarded thinking as unbelief. Since then, I have spent a lifetime of hard, rigorous, disciplined thinking about my faith. My commitment to Christian orthodoxy is unchanged and unchallenged by all that thinking. I believe the same things I believed as a child of 10 when my heart moved me to faith in Christ. It's just that now I have thoughts as well as feelings that draw me to Him. I think it's called growing up, maturing, and we do that spiritually as well as physically. I often say to people, give as much of yourself as you can to as much of God as you can understand, knowing that both will change as you mature and discover more about both yourself and God. Now, Please don't misunderstand. I don't mean to suggest that I've got it all figured out. Does a snail ever figure out the cosmos? I just mean that joined to my credo, I believe, is my cogito, I think, and both inevitably, relentlessly, faithfully, thoughtfully lead me to God and to His Son, Jesus the Christ, in whom I believe. Till next time. Take care. God bless.